Hello, brothers and sisters. Uh, thank you for joining me for our next part of Letter from Lockdown. Not my letter from lockdown, I hope you understand, but the Apostle Paul's letter from lockdown. Paul was in prison for the gospel of Jesus Christ as he wrote this letter to his friends at Philippi. Now, being in prison must have been pretty horrible, but God was working something good through those bad circumstances, as he always does for followers of Christ. So listen to what Paul writes in Philippians chapter 1 and verse 12 and following. Now I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that what has happened to me has actually served to advance the gospel. As a result, it has become clear throughout the whole palace guard and to everyone else that I am in chains for Christ. And because of my chains, most of the brothers and sisters have become confident in the Lord and dare all the more to proclaim the gospel without fear. God is good. All the time, God is good. But I want to tell you something that's really important for living the Christian life, and it's this, that the goodness of God will sometimes confuse and baffle you. There will be times in your life when you will look at your situation and say, what in the world is God doing? That's because what looks good to God from an eternal perspective doesn't always look so good to us down at ground level. Partly that's because we don't see the full picture in the way that God does. But partly it's because often we're just on a different agenda page from God. The agenda page I'm working from says, God, keep me comfortable. But God's agenda page is different. God's priority is the spread of the gospel of Jesus Christ, making us more like the Lord Jesus and helping us to share the good news of Jesus with others. Because in the end, that's the only thing that is going to fix his broken world. And sometimes God works through uncomfortable circumstances to carry the gospel forward. Now, that's what God was doing through Paul's lockdown. The imprisonment was bad, but God was doing something really good through it. He was spreading the gospel so that Paul could say, I want you to know that what's happened to me has really served to advance the gospel. How was that happening? Well, for one thing, the prison guards were all hearing the gospel from Paul. They probably would never have heard it otherwise. And through their conversations, Christ was becoming the hot topic amongst the guards. Everyone now in the prison, all the soldiers, were talking about Jesus Christ. And the gospel was spreading outside the prison too, because ordinary Christians were looking at Paul and saying, well, if he can be that bold, even in prison, surely we can speak to our friends, we can speak to our neighbors about Jesus Christ. And so that was happening. The gospel was spreading. And so Paul is rejoicing, even though his lockdown is so uncomfortable, even though it's not what he would have wanted, yet he can see that God is using it for good and the gospel is advancing. Well, brothers and sisters, what can we learn from this? Well, in, in broad terms, at the very least, surely we should say this, that nothing, nothing in scripture encourages us to expect an easy life as Christians, but everything in scripture encourages us to expect that the gospel will spread. Jesus has promised to build his church. Now, how does that apply at this situation of lockdown? Well, COVID-19 is a bad thing. Make no mistake about that. It's a horrible, horrible thing. But God will work through this horrible thing to do what he has promised to do, namely to spread the gospel. Surely, at the very least, it's clear to us that, that God is, is using this time to show us as Christians what really matters in life. He's refocusing our hearts. He's teaching us to trust him in a new way with our daily needs. And he is unleashing a whole new wave of creativity to get the gospel out there, even through little videos like this, which surely reach far more people than our traditional pulpit ministry ever used to. And who knows what else God is doing, not only in the church, but in the wider world, because we only ever see the tiniest fraction of what God is up to at any given moment. But we can be sure with Paul that what has happened 
will actually serve to advance the gospel as it always does. Now, I'm not going to tell you that knowing this will make a hard thing easy. It won't. If you're having a difficult experience in COVID-19, I'm not going to pretend that knowing this is going to make that difficult thing simply go away or make it easy. That's not going to happen. But I will say this to you. Keep the gospel in first place. And just like the Apostle Paul, you will have a reason to rejoice because Christ triumphs in the end. That is what God has promised. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, that you see the way ahead much more clearly than we do. Please keep us trusting in you as by your spirit you work in us and through us to spread the gospel for your glory's sake. Amen. Well, God bless you, brothers and sisters. I hope we can meet up to worship God together on Sunday morning, 10 o'clock. Check the Caution Baptist Church website for details.